this is Armored Ali. Welcome to something a little bit different. We're having a first look at your journey of survival. Now, this was released in December by, well, it says here, Smartly Gophered Games, but they've just changed their name to Byteworks, so that the logos and everything will be changing shortly. This is an expansive open world game using F a version or mix of FPS, survival, tower defense and RPG. You are in the wilderness of Naravik, scavenging for resources to construct elaborate structures and craft items, everything from basic tools to advanced weaponry like assault rifles. You can play in single player or multiplayer, which I like the look of. I played one game, which was simply to just get the hang of the controls, basically. So we're going to call this one first look. Now you do have environmental challenges. There are some AI, there's uh, bandits and wildlife, and then all the usual survival elements. There are weather elements like rain and snow, which I've not personally seen yet, but there you go. Let's just wait for this to load. There you go. <sighs> All right, uh, I hate that noise, by the way. That ugh. That's what you get when the your character is trying to tell you something. First thing we're going to do, first rule of survival, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. These bushes, you'll notice at the top it's saying it's giving me plant fibre and sticks. And here we have berries. So those things are fairly easy to look at. If you look on the left hand side, you will see that it is giving us information on the weather at the moment as well as the time. Now, I do apologize for the sort of kind of speediness of this. It is just the way that the game mechanic is set up. It does look a little bit um, fast, but here we go. Crafting. First things first. Now, the sticks enable us to do that. And you'll notice as soon as you click on something, it makes it happen. OK, so that's good to know and then you want to equip things so equip that goes into your primary slot and then we'll go back to this one and we'll do equip and that will go into secondary so there you go that's fairly easy so far and these you can eat so you could choose to put them down there to make them easy so plant fibers basically your plant fiber you're going to need for a lot of things when you mouse over you can see it is cloth and cloth comes from plant fibers okay so basically pick up fibers think of those as your um did we do it oh yeah there you go the hit boxes on some of these is a little bit squiffy so you kind of have to fiddle around there you go find one that works you get quite a lot of wood out of each thing you see that small bush if you look at all of that that's coming that's a lot of wood you kind of just First time I played this, I thought, does it actually chop down? Yes, it does. You just have to keep going. Think, if you're a subsistence player, think blueberries and fibre. That's kind of what you're picking up from around here. Now, there are NPCs that do attack. You can keep away from them, though, which is what I've been doing at the moment. Just until I learn the game. Now, my idea here is to showcase a little bit about the basics of the map, the navigation and the crafting oh she not following my own advice and i moved look already there is a lot that you can do this you can i mean if you're playing sort of with other players you can put pvp um um sort of there are, is a lot of support on their discord if you want to have a dedicated server and things like that so it has a lot of potential for that a lot of building there's uh raising crops and things like that now if you look okay and we look on the map m for map i am there now to my i want to go north because that's where water is but there's other things out this is the first time i've spawned over here in the valley so east we could go east first off if you press i you can toggle that which i found very helpful a compass um it's not too in your face Oh, there's no running sounds, which I find a little bit off-putting. I'm very used to the footsteps in subsistence and other games like that. So right, let's take our own advice and make some more cloth as well. Now you can set five or whatever at a time to go. So that's a good thing. Because cloth, we need to make a bigger backpack look. That takes 15 cloth for that. And obviously, if you get that, you've, you you know, you're laughing. So, again, 
anyone who plays any survival games, you know that having a bigger backpack is definitely a good thing. Now there are stones that you can harvest, um, which will allow us then to craft stone axes and stone pickaxes, which obviously would be much better. So let's just pick some of these up and see. Oh, mushrooms. Uh, stone axe. Can we make that? Yeah, yes, we can. There's a stone axe. Mu oops, mushrooms. You can cook with these. I saw when I finally got to have a uh, put a fire down and played around with that, looking at the basic mechanics. As I say, this is very difficult on the eye. I know. I apologise. There's not. Can't seem to turn that down. Now it is not always obvious as to which stones you can do. Um, still learning that. But look, all of this got to be done so much here we just snab all of these i don't know if there is a weight limit on the what person can carry oh. i'm cold though that noise honestly is just unbelievably annoying i really hope that that changes i mean i've got music right down oh did i drop this oh no space oh okay so there you go. We need, can we craft the backpack yet? Insufficient items. What do we need? 15 cloth and we, yeah, okay. So let's make some more cloth. Wait for that. And then we will be able to chop this tree whilst we wait. Like with a lot of other games, just not the ones that I'm used to playing. The backpack, just the way that that's laid out. Some things take more room and that's visually represented by the size of them within your backpack. And if you look, so stones took up this many spaces, wood that many spaces, etc. Right now we can make a backpack. There you go. And that will then allow us to pick this up. Just pick a few more of these. Good job I noticed that. Oh, let's see if we use these up then we'll go back and get our pickaxe do 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 spam the key get all of these yeah the, it's nice having the background that noise uh, but not having footsteps i realize how spoilt we are in other games right backpack where's my backpack where's my backpack i did make it uh okay Pretty certain I made that because they disappeared. Did it drop on the floor? Because we were full? That's the only thing I can think of is because I was too full, it dropped. But I can't see it around here. Hmm. Glitched. Let's log out. Let's try this again. Let's have a look. Where are we now? Okay, so we're not too bad. So we need to head east. That way. No, that way we need to head southeast. Okay, we'll do that. Let's go back. Pick a few things up. See if we can get back to where we were. Do you know what? I wonder whether I might make the backpack first, therefore. So that, that sort of thing doesn't happen again. We could make enough. Crafting. Wood axe. Get that done. And then we just want to start making cloth. Keep going. Cannot craft insufficient items. Okay. It's going to take a while to get to know the map. It's, it's you know, it's not huge. There's not a lot in there. But obviously there's more than I can look at in the first few, you know, this little first look. So as I say, that's why I just want to be able to show you the basics. Make some more cloth. Well, cloth. Let's equip this. Can we make a pickaxe yet? Yes, we can. 
that going. Let's keep getting as much of these bushes as we can. I will gather these up and get some cloth made and then show you let's see what we can do after that. 15 is our magic number, isn't it, of what we want. So that will give us 13, 14, nearly there. Come back up and get a few more of these. Presuming that it's warmer in the valley than it is up here. So presumably in a minute my little person... Oh yes, you can do... There you go. Not um, not the most... Yeah. Not the best I've ever looked. But we'll try and get him dressed. As soon as we can. Right. Another one. Uh, cloth. There you go. Let's put these down here in number eight and then we can eat if we want to. It's a little bit of hydration. Right, 15 cloth. Let's see. Let's watch the screen this time. Annie, backpack. I'm not going to take... I'm just going to wait for this to go this time. There you go. Backpack. Equip. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Feel a lot better now. Feel a lot better. If you notice, it's got effectively pockets. It's got its main area, and then it's got pockets at the bottom. I advise if you pick up any red mushrooms, you put them in your pockets so you don't accidentally ever eat them. Because I'm assuming, I think those are, you can craft them for medicinal, but they are also, you know, probably hallucinogenic, I think. Say so I've had a little bit of a look around just to get the feel for it. I don't like the jump mechanism. I think if there was sound, I think if you could hear footsteps, if you could hear the players, you know, efforts when they jump and things like that, I think that would be a lot more immersive. But this is only on Alpha 2.2, I think, at the moment. So it's very early access. They are, as I say, it's only been out since December and the last update was fairly recently. I have been given a key, as I mentioned in the description, I have been given a key of it for this uh, to look at for free, which I most appreciated by key mailer. So that is why we are looking at this. It seems now there's there's aspects of this game that are not I, I'm I'm not known for playing games with these sorts of build uh you know, menus, crafting menus and build trees and things. It's not really my thing. If you, if we hear this building plan takes wood, you'll see what I mean in a minute. If that, that oh, I'm really nervous now about things crafting when I'm not watching. Um, you'll see what I mean. But this is very scavenger based. It seems as if it could be quite customizable. The fact that you can play multiplayer, you know, dedicated servers, etc. There's a lot of building, so you could choose to effectively avoid the NPCs as much as possible and just get on with your building and crafting and farming and all the rest of it. So that seems quite good. Let's just set a whole load of those to go. It, this we need to say hold um oh what now do we need to put it into a slot i think put it to seven oh, i'll keep dropping it that that i'm yeah i get a little bit frustrated at that so seven and then press right, right mouse button and here you go here's your wheel fairly standard just not in the games that i normally play so i'm determined to get to grips with it whoa i don't know what sort of damage if there's full damage, I haven't I haven't fallen yet and found out. I'm sure I will. We're gonna head for that red exclamation mark, and then I want to find water before I build anywhere, basically. Uh that way. So we'll keep going down there. We're looking for something down here. What are you? You are people. Don't know that we want people. Actually. I know there's a trader, but I don't know. Mm. 
not so sure so if we go that way for the moment let's go let's go let's just go shall we that may well be a trader or not but we're gonna keep away the trigger range seems fairly you know decent um now i've noticed if you see that little shiny bit on these stones these are definitely ones that you can harvest i thought that was a if you look down there you can see there's a little bit of a glint i do like the rocks falling down you know that's quite good when you've done something with them they disappear you see the break up it's always a nice little touch but yeah without oh am i too near to that guy now where was he he's there without sound feedback from my character it's it's not immersive at the moment i have to say let's get this let's make ourselves a stone axe and a stone pickaxe let's put you in there and let's put you in there i'm going to equip you uh what is that that's the stone axe so if we take you out we take it out we go in there stone axe can go in there and then wood pickaxe can come out oh okay wood pickaxe can't come out that me you can come out cannot move held item oh of course yeah sorry sorry wasn't paying attention there you go red mushrooms look red mushrooms put in pocket uh poisonous mushroom can be used as a means of suicide or consumed with psychedelic effects mm -hmm. well i'm assuming that we might be able to make something that we hurt other people with so we'll pick a few of those up but i'm looking for the these other mushrooms down here because i know you can craft as i say i remember seeing a, a recipe for them so we'll keep an eye on those dudes over there we'll just pick a few mushrooms don't mind us a little bit on the woodland floor. Thank you very much. Can't remember how many. I should have paid attention as to how many you needed. But um, we'll, we'll we'll just grab a handful. How many have we got? 28. I don't know. Let's just grab a few more. Let's get to a nice round number. I'm going to head towards water. Because I would like to be able to show you some of the basics. You see, see what I mean about the hitbox? It's a bit weird. Yeah. It's a bit weird. I've found it easy to go for the bigger trees or just go for the bushes. Bushes obviously give you sticks and fibre, which you want. But yeah, otherwise, big trees, easy to find the hitbox, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. A lot of wood for your bang, really. Okay. We could make ourselves some more cloth. Uh, how many have we got? Plant fibres, yes. Let's, let's, let's get a good few of those dirt going. Stone pickaxe, we need stones, obviously. Uh, bandages would be a good thing. Crafting bench, as you can see, we need ingots, which means we need to make the furnace, which means we need iron, etc., etc. So we are still going this way. <laughs> still going. I wasn't going. Let, let's jump. Can we jump? Yeah. I do hope that, that some sound comes in for the character. Uh, yeah, northeast. So we want to go that way. Well, this is... Okay. Looking at that map there, you would say the water is northeast. And you'd say that I am facing north, northeast. And yet when I come out of the map, that says southeast. So that's not correct, is it? All right. Well, we'll, we'll follow the map. And maybe we'll turn this off for the moment then because i don't know if that's a glitch again glitch or just me pick some stones up as we go and we'll just pick whatever these mushrooms are as we as we head up back up the hill there's a reasonable amount of room but i think getting that backpack made first thing as you saw because otherwise you might click craft things and if you don't realize that you're full they're just going to go on the ground and you're going to lose them. So, like I did. Make sure we're still going the right way. Now that way. Up over the hill. Yeah, look, the ones with the slight reflective blue tint on them on my screen are the ones that you can do things with. 
ABCs of survival always be crafting. Uh, I think you're still just stone. What's that? There was something else came up on the screen, I thought. I thought there was writing that came up on the screen. Uh, don't think so. Let's organise you a little bit better. I've the uh, version of Tetris is getting everything to fit into its place. Look, so you can see what space you've got. Okay, keep going. Uh, did I make cloth? Yes, I did make cloth. Let's make a little bit more cloth. Uh, let's make ourselves a bandage. Just, you know, because this is me. And you never know. Let's make sure we're still going the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're heading that way. Okay, well, we're going to eat something. Top that back up. If you look in the left, you have a green one, which is your hunger. You have one covered uh, that's in a blue circle that is water. And you have obviously the large one, which is obviously health, your main health. And the pink one is obviously stamina. Oh, walk through the tree then. And there's no tutorial, there's no on screen tips to get you started, which is something you do have in several. Yeah, you know, oh, I'm too cold. Shush. You do have in many games, and I think it would be a good addition, to be honest. That way slightly. If we could do that, if we could just have, you know, that basic find sticks, make fire kind of thing. Right, you are going to go down onto number six. Now they still stay here because obviously they're still taking up space. So that that that's fine. That makes sense. Um, we're going to put the stones in there. We're going to put the wood in there because we're going to keep carrying them. So that's, we're picking them up. So that's fine. Now I presume to craft it has to be in your inventory, not in your no, not that one, not in your um. What's that? Is he just doing it again? Crap. Oh, Armoured Annie. Oh, okay, that's my name for some reason coming up. Okay. Don't know why. That's a little bit off-putting, I'm not going to lie. Let's take a tree down. Now, I don't know what the respawn is for this. It looked... I did one overnight. Well, I think I did... Yeah, I think I did one, or I've done a total of two nights in sort of different sort of tests. And it felt like these things, the bushes, and that respawned. But I don't know about the trees. Is that snowing? That's snowing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves down a little house here then. Let's take our wood, all of our wood out. Let's get our building things done. Light snow. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to come over and build ourselves something. We've got some water here. Uh, let's come over this side onto here. We've got a clear space. Wooden foundation. Yes, please. Let's let's do that. Uh, uh, and that. Okay, we can only do... I, d I don't understand yet. Maybe I should have raised it up a little bit more. I'm not quite sure yet on some of the building mechanisms. Uh, window. Right, we will come this way. We need a couple of windows. If you notice, it's got the arrows, so you can actually show what direction you're in, which is a, it's facing, which is a good thing. And we will put ourselves a doorway in there. Um, and then some ordinary walls. And I hope we've got enough wood to finish this. And there. And a doorway. Uh, that's on the next one. Double door. A door that could be opened and closed. A door that can be opened. Okay. Right. Missing required items. So now we now need to get some more wood. Which means that he's going to complain in a moment. Oh, I seem to have lost my sound. 
Hang on one moment. Let me go and stand in here. So I just realised I've lost all my game sound. Wait a minute. There you go. Oh. There was sound as I walked through the snow. Oops. Took me by surprise. As did my headphones turning off. I'm not quite sure why my headphones turned off. Okay, so when you're actually doing something, like chopping the tree, there is no weather sounds. But there was in between. That's a little bit odd. But as I say, this is early access. They are working on it. And as they get feedback from players, they are improving things and, you know, making notes. I do know that there is no torch. So you can craft a light, but there is no torch. And I know that is something that people have mentioned. And I believe that is in hand to add a torch to the... To the game. Now this sort of almost walking in the snow sounds. Okay, let's get back in. Is this enough? Oh, let's have ourselves... No, not that one. Seven. I will get the hang of this eventually. As I say, I'm not used to this craft menu. Uh, what have we got? No, on there. Wooden foundation stairs. That's the ones. Come on. Rotate is R. There you go. Gets us in. Yeah. The, oh, no. I'm too used to. Sorry about this. Oh, I will get a sale. So we'll get the hang of the menu in the end. Right. We want a ceiling. Definitely need to put a ceiling in. We will look at making an, another floor and doing something better, etc. etc. At the moment, as I say, I'm partly showing you what can be done. Um, seven, there you go, so that has to be in hand. What windows? What window options have we got? Wooden bars. Uh, door, what's in that one? Triangle pieces. Okay, so window bars, was that the only option? Frame. Okay, window bars it is then. There you go. I don't know if this has got a thing for uh, temperature. What we need to craft now is the campfire. Now, what, can we make the crafting bench yet? No, not crafting bench. A uh, furnace. 60 stone. We've got 160. So let's have a look. Will it let us craft the furnace? Yes, it will. So that's fine. So even though that was in there and not all in here, it let us do that. That's brilliant. Campfire base. You have to come out of the map to be able to do that. Let's put it in the middle of the room. There you go. And if you open this up, you can now, if we split this, you can put your storage in here. And then obviously add your fuel and do it this way. So you've got resources there. Let's place you. That didn't I didn't do that place. Now we do that. And let's put you in this corner here. And now we need to put get some iron to go in that. But yeah, so we've got to get iron. We've got to go down the river for that. Um now sometimes you get NPCs down here, it seems. They're obviously around in areas where you would have resources that might be argued over or defended or <clears throat> oh yes i know you're cold i hate that please 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 devs will you please stop that we certainly don't need the little noise the little musical note with it but just that oh uh, is yeah i know that's an alternative i guessing from having a character speak to you and say i'm too cold right these are iron nodes so we're going to collect all of these now if you see look just over there standing in the water obviously very cold there is an npc so we're going to try to keep them in our sights make sure they don't come over here and i've only got a pickaxe to defend myself with obviously you can set all your key bindings up as usual i've got mine fairly standard as the default so left left control for crouch shift for sprint space for jump E is the interact key by default. 
Um, do you know what? They must be cold. Mind you, they've got clothing and I don't have. But clothing you need to craft in the workbench and the workbench needs iron ingots and the iron ingots needs a furnace. So you can see the logic or the craft progression. Um, but yeah, that's why we are going to do these and get these going. And again, just, oh, there's some more in the trees. Look over there. There's somebody else wandering around in the trees. We're just going to get this one. Yeah, the sound stopping, the ambient sound stopping in between crafting things or doing interacting with something is off-putting not gonna lie no don't crouch let's get some more wood whilst we're over here keeping you guys in my sights what have we got that's 217 i didn't pay attention to how much they smelt down to but we're going to have a look at that in a minute as i say because of the lack of light i will stop this before it gets to night or if it gets too dark or drink now that's one thing i did find that i found it very difficult sometimes to get these when they're next to the water because it seems to just be giving me the option to drink and the finding the hitbox on these yeah was very difficult so i'm hoping that will change because that was that was not that's not good not good at all get some ordinary stone whilst we're here we just gather all these resources now one thing i did notice on solar player when you log out and you come back in it doesn't seem to hold the time of day so if you logged out at night time um no where are the hit boxes on these no maybe you can't hit those um it doesn't yeah if you log out at night time you will come back in in the morning the bed that you put down is for spawn points it isn't for sleeping at the moment to pass the night. I don't know if that'll change, whether that'll be an option, because that would be good if you didn't want to... Again, I know Subsistence is one of those games where you, 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 you can't do that. You can't sleep through the night, so it's not unusual. But I think a lot of survival players do like being able to sleep through the night if you don't have stuff to craft. But yeah, look at this, the amount of wood. 250. That's it lot of wood but we're gonna need a lot of wood the light i find a bit weird so that was getting darker and darker and darker and then suddenly it goes light again and through the night i got very confused that it seems to be lighter at 10 o'clock at night than it was at the start but right, let's get ourselves in we can open the door where's the door no that's the door frame i haven't put the door in yet oh that's right because we didn't have sufficient resources so let's do that. Let's put our door in. Uh, door. No. Uh, 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 door. Right. See what I mean about the darkness? Yeah. Let's get the campfire lit. It's very bright, but at least now you can see a little bit. Furnace. Here we go. This is the stuff that we're going to want to so put this in here. Let's split that into smaller ones oh hang on we're going to need to move you over in order to do that split and let's put that on and then turn on oh it might help if we had some fuel in there Annie now we turn on there you go so now that's smelting let's get ourselves a box made so a wooden chest put things in there the wall lamp takes the light bulb no idea where you get the light bulb from but it's in here let's put it in there that's fine thought i'd lost it then as opposed to just losing it right place we will keep you by the door let's put you on this side and we'll keep make sure we've got some wood in there we will make sure we've got some fibers in there and some berries uh cloth oh look so there's weight when you mouse over things but i don't know what the total is does it oh no space for item right so it doesn't 35 kilos no okay so she's quite strong then <laughs> being able to carry all that we've got 30 wood in there to storage we've got wood in here they go 28 look at this 
Um, let's take those out into here. Oh, I'll tell you what we will put in our storage box. We'll put the wooden axe and the wooden pickaxe. They can go in there for the moment. We will put some stone in. So we've got a little bit of everything. And let's put those mushrooms in there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Furnace. We've done. Wall lamp. Gosh down. Blah, blah, blah. We want the crafting bench. 30 ingots we need. There you go. And what else was it? 15 stone and 60 wood. Have any stone? Yes, we've got that on us. Cool. We've got room for all those things. Let's just put that back on there. Just making ourselves some room. Crafting bench. There you go. Let's wait for that. It's, oh, all of our berries have disappeared out of here. It's, um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make bandages number eight. And we're going to make berries number seven. There you go. Should have got some water whilst I was outside, but I didn't. Where's my crafting bench? Oh, another seven seconds. Let's wait. I don't know if this freezes. But there you go. So they, oh, look, that's looking nice. Look, look. So can we hide? We can't hide the HUD on this? No. Okay, we'll just take a screenshot there then. Our little home. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. But I'm taking my screenshots. You've got to get used to this. This is the way I go. Uh, can we do that? Sort of. I don't know that that works very well. Oh, let me know in the comments whether you like that view. Um, you know, would would you rather I was always sort of in the, the first person, as it were? Or would you rather that this was how I was playing the game and you saw me like that? Do let me know. Here we go. So, crafting, iron axe, assault rifle, clothing. This is what we want. 30 cloth. Uh, we've got 10. So we need to make ourselves a load of cloth. Is that going to be enough? Five? No, it isn't. But yeah, so we need to get some more of that. And what I learned is in order to man, in order to actually make things, you have to have the the items in here. So to craft a iron axe or you know a hammer or whatever. So to craft a hammer. I would need to place into here 10 ingots and 10 lots of wood. Yeah. So that would actually need to come into here. And we would need to actually have wood in here. And then that's how you actually make something. Oh, my fire's gone out. Well, let's just split a little bit more because I want you guys to still be able to see. Insufficient. Ah, oh, look at that. We're just short. We're just short need to get ourselves some more uh, fibre. No, that's berries. Um, <coughs> yes, yes, I know. God dear. I'm sorry that if that's making you jump because it's certainly making me jump every time it does that. But as I say, that's just the method that there is at the moment. Get you crafting as much as we can. You see what I mean? That it's actually quite light, even though it's apparently, you know, 20 past 11 at night. Oh, that's another nice one. Look. Let's get in. Uh, we can take a couple of shots of inside as well. Right, we now have our 30 cloth. If we come over here, place our 30 cloth in there. Oops, 30 cloth in there. Crafting. Let's make ourselves a pullover. Excellent. That's what we want. We want a little bit more. What's that noise? Uh, where are we? Where 
is inventory. Oh, there you go. Pull over. Take that out to there. And uh, shirt. So that will go in there. Woohoo. Now, yeah, that's a little bit better. Look. Out of interest, what do we need for trousers? Another 30. So cloth is the order of the day. Oh, look. Oh, now that I do like. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's an ambient sound that I should recognise and think I know what it is, but I don't. Um, let's just chop this tree. Yes, I'm cold. I know I'm cold, but, you know, just get some more wood. Yeah, I don't know if that's coming out my, on the game sound, but yeah, that's horrid. But it's beautiful. Give it that. That's quite a nice, quite a nice look. Yeah, I can't get you to stand facing where I want to. So, never mind. So, yeah, so this is the game. As you saw, there is a lot more now to do. I need to go and investigate. Need to get myself some more clothing actually so we can run around a little bit more without that noise going off all the time but let me know in the comments what you think have you had a go at this i know i played a demo of this way back which is you know why i thought i'd i'd give it a go i'm quite i'm quite interested to see whether this goes i'm willing to play this a bit more get the hang of it there is so much you can do in terms of the crafting building and items much more engagement when you actually meet the npcs stuff like that armor to make guns all that good jazz so yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm willing to give this a go but i'd quite i'd love to know your feedback let me know what you think of it the pros and the cons are oh, look that's just nice isn't it take that out of your face it's a shame my fire's gone out Let's get ourselves in then. Nope, <laughs> the door was open, Annie. We just walked into it. Let's put another little bit on here. Uh, it burns through fuel quite quickly, as you can see. How is this doing? Um, this needs some more fuel as well. Keep that going. So we've got 82 iron ingots in there. So let's take you out and let's put you, let's put, uh, what do we need to make ourselves? This is all made in here, isn't it? And it needs a pickaxe, it needed a iron, where are we? An iron axe head, which you can't craft in here. Can you? No, see, grow light, heat lamp, large planter which is good, 30 wood, hazard light, oh, okay. circuit boards, ah, light bulb, so we need copper for that, to make ourselves a light bulb, flashlight, an iron pipe, okay, so those are things I presume you've got to make, a light, uh, large backpack, that's a good thing, and so a 9mm pistol, 10 ingots, okay, let's do that, and magaz pistol magazine and nine mil rounds there you go let's do that got ourselves a pistol look armored annie's armored yeah magazine so now you can see the space issue that you start to have let's put these out the way let's put our wood in here so you do need to do some inventory management on a regular basis just move those along that's fine our pistol rounds our pistol rounds i'm presuming all of this let's have a look this is a 12 round magazine for the nine mil uh, now we reload that's better okay that makes much more sense uh i think that's all I'm going to do for the moment just to make sure I've got something on me. Okay, can will you let me put that there? Cannot move a held item. Of course you can't. Yes, I knew that. 
but that's still equipped isn't it yes yeah, fine so there you go we are working our way through we've got an idea as to the sorts of things we can craft balaclava jacket so yeah cloth is the order of the day definitely and yeah let me know in the comments what you think don't forget to click like on the video introduce yourself if you're new to the channel please i love to hear from people and yeah i will see oh look look why can't you just let me look all the way around i don't want to be looking from behind you i'd quite like to actually be able to see your face never mind but yeah let me know and i will see you guys on the next one if you want me to do another one bye bye now